Edgar Buchanan is widely recognized nowadays as Uncle Joe Carson, a beloved character from the popular 1960s television sitcoms Petticoat Junction, Green Acres, and the Beverly Hillbillies. In these shows, he portrayed Uncle Joe, who assumed the role of the owner of the Shady Rest Hotel after the real-life passing of B. Benedorette in 1968. B. Benedorette had previously portrayed the character Kate Bradley in the series. Edgar Buchanan was born William Edgar Buchanan II on March 20, 1903, in Humansville, Missouri. When he was just seven years old, Edgar's family packed their belongings and embarked on a journey to Oregon, seeking new opportunities and a fresh start. As he grew older, Edgar discovered a passion for dentistry, following in the footsteps of his father. He pursued his dreams and enrolled at the esteemed North Pacific College School of Dentistry, where he diligently worked towards earning his DDS degree. Some might draw parallels between Edgar and the legendary Doc Holliday, a dental surgeon turned cowboy in the Wild West. However, their stories diverge from one another. Edgar's path was guided by familial ties and a move from Missouri to Oregon, rather than a wild and adventurous escapade. He entered the tooth-pulling trade, embracing the family legacy and embracing the art of dentistry just like his dear old pa. Edgar Buchanan found love in the most unexpected place, dental school. It was there that he met Mildred, a fellow student who would later become his beloved wife. In the year 1928, they exchanged vows and embarked on a journey of love and partnership. Their union brought forth a beautiful blessing, a son named Buck, who would fill their lives with joy and laughter. As the years passed, Edgar and Mildred decided to seek new horizons, and in 1939, they packed their bags and set their sights on Altadena, California. It was there that they relocated their dental practice, eager to serve a new community. At the age of 36, a turning point arrived in his life, a calling to pursue a different path beyond the realm of dentistry. With a heavy heart, he decided to hand over the reins of his dental practice to his capable wife, Mildred. Although he bid farewell to his dental business, the world of acting warmly embraced Edgar. He dove headfirst into this new chapter of his life, leaving behind the dental chair for the thrill of the stage and screen. Yet, even as an actor, his dental expertise occasionally came to the forefront. Tales circulate of him coming to the rescue of a toothache-stricken comrade on set. One particular anecdote recounts how Edgar, with his charm and a touch of humor, attended to the dental needs of his dear friend, Glenn Ford. The story goes that he administered whiskey as a makeshift anesthetic, sipping one drink for every three Glenn consumed. While this tale may lean towards the realm of myth, it adds a delightful layer of fun to Edgar Buchanan's remarkable journey. Edgar Buchanan frequently collaborated with Glenn Ford in the Western genre, sharing their on-screen chemistry in several films. One captivating photograph captures their joyous camaraderie while filming The Sheep Man, evidencing the immense fun they had together. Their acting partnership extended beyond that film, as they also starred alongside each other in Cimarron, The Rounders, and The Man from Colorado. Edgar appeared in a total of 13 movies alongside Ford, including two notable noirs, Framed, 1947, and Human Desire, 1954. Among Edgar Buchanan's vast repertoire, his personal favorite was Texas, Columbia, 1941, where he showcased his comedic brilliance by portraying a hilariously villainous frontier dentist. Throughout his career, Buchanan frequently portrayed professional characters in westerns, often assuming the roles of doctors and judges. Notably, he brought the mischievous Doc Black to life in Wichita alongside Joe McRae and portrayed the cunning Doc Miriam in The Man from Colorado. Another memorable role saw him embody the deceitful mayor in the 1954 remake of Destry. Edgar Buchanan made notable guest appearances in several television series throughout his career, showcasing his versatility as an actor. His talent caught the attention of various shows, 
including Hope Along Cassidy and The Rifleman, an episode titled Duel at Sundown of Maverick, where he had the opportunity to work alongside James Garner and Clint Eastwood. Additionally, he graced the screens of popular shows like Leave it to Beaver, The Twilight Zone, Gunsmoke, and Route 66, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. In 1956, Buchanan took on a leading role in a syndicated Western television series called Judge Roy Bean. Spanning 39 episodes, the series revolved around the fictionalized character of Judge Roy Bean set in Langdree, Texas. Filmed in vibrant color in California, the show loosely drew inspiration from the legendary storekeeper, bartender, and justice of the peace, Roy Bean. Alongside Buchanan, the series featured supporting roles played by Jack Butel, Jackie Lowry, and Russell Hayden, with Hayden portraying a Texas Ranger. One of the show's memorable aspects was popularizing Bean's claim of being, quote, the only law west of the Pecos, referring to the Pecos River in Val Verde County, Texas. Following his role in Judge Roy Bean, Edgar Buchanan became highly sought after whenever a Western production required the presence of a judge, particularly one with a strong and commanding presence. Whether portraying a judge or marshal, Buchanan's versatility extended to playing characters on both sides of the law. In the film Tombstone, famously known as The Town Too Tough to Die, he assumed the role of Curly Bill, a chief villainous character. However, Curly Bill's reckless pursuit of his border exploits ultimately led to his demise, serving as a cautionary tale. He made a lasting impact through his portrayal of Uncle Joe Carson in all 222 episodes of the beloved television series Petticoat Junction, distinguishing himself as the only actor from the show to achieve such a feat. Additionally, he brought his talents to 17 episodes of Green Acres, and made appearances in three episodes of the Beverly Hillbillies, further solidifying his presence in the world of classic television. During the years 1960 to 1962, Edgar Buchanan graced the screen in four episodes of the National Broadcasting Company Western series, Laramie, where he shared the screen with actors John Smith and Robert Fuller. Buchanan's appearances on Laramie added another notable Western series to his impressive resume. In the world of legal dramas, Buchanan made two guest appearances on the iconic Perry Mason. In 1958, he portrayed a small-town coroner in an episode titled The Case of the Perjured Parrot. Then, in 1962, he returned to Perry Mason, this time as a small-town judge in an episode titled The Case of the Lurid Letter. These appearances showcased his versatility as an actor, seamlessly transitioning between various roles and genres. Buchanan's connection with another star from Petticoat Junction extended beyond the small screen and into the realm of film. They shared the screen in the movie Benji, a heartwarming tale where the other star was none other than Higgins, the lovable and unnamed dog from the sitcom. In the film, Higgins took on the title role, captivating audiences with his adorable charm. Higgins, who was discovered in an animal shelter, received training from Frank Inn, the same trainer responsible for Arnold Ziffel and other animals featured in the Beverly Hillbillies, Petticoat Junction, and Green Acres. Edgar Buchanan possessed a remarkable talent for portraying crusty old-timers, regardless of his actual age. Even in one of his final Western appearances, the made-for-TV film Yuma in 1971, where he starred alongside Clint Walker, Buchanan, at nearly 70 years old, showed no signs of aging. He effortlessly slipped into the character of Mules McNeil, a dry, amusing, and slightly cranky old-timer, showcasing his undeniable charm and delivering the signature performance that made him unmistakably Edgar Buchanan. In the later stages of his life, Buchanan embarked on entertaining ventures such as The Over the Hill Gang and its sequel, The Over the Hill Gang Rides Again. These projects brought together a cast of Western old-timers, offering them the opportunity to embrace their age and make the most of their collective experience. 
This distinction came in 1955 with Lippert's production of The Silver Star, where his talent and on-screen presence propelled him to the forefront, solidifying his status as a leading figure in the genre. Sadly, in Palm Desert, California, on April 4, 1979, Edgar Buchanan passed away following a stroke made worse by pneumonia. Age-wise, he was 76. Buchanan is buried in Los Angeles' Forest Lawn, Hollywood Hills Cemetery. Goodbye and rest in peace, legendary actor Edgar Buchanan.